Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, do a kind of a selective set effect on your photos. It's really a uh, pretty interesting effect, and it kind of just shows you around the program a little bit too, so that you can uh, kind of learn how to uh, play around with your colors a little bit. But uh, in any case, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> And uh, the first thing that you need to do is pick a good image that has some good strong colors. I chose this one because I noticed that the roof has a nice strong uh, red color in it. And uh, and that's the color that I'm going to focus on uh, for our selective sepia. So um, so the it, this is pretty simple. The, the first thing that you do is you uh, go to your layers palette and you, uh, you add an adjustment layer. So um, you go down to this and you click to add your adjustment layer. And you want a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Um, since I chose to that I want my uh, reds to show through, um, I'm going to go to my reds here, and I'm going to leave everything um, everything the way that it is. I'm going to change a thing. I'll go down to my yellows in my ma th these are my master colors here. I'll go down to my yellows, and I'm going to change the saturation down to zero, and then I'm going to do that for <coughs> for the rest of the colors as well. For the greens, I'll take it down to zero saturation. For cyan, I'll take it down to zero saturation. Blues down to zero saturation and magentas down to zero. <coughs> okay, then uh, I always like to do the master layer last um, because, well, and you you certainly don't have to do the master layer. If you like it the way that it looks this way, then um, then just sit, simply leave it this way. But say you just wanted this roof and you didn't want this redness in the sky and on the lake and in these little rocks here. Um, then maybe you you set the master layer. What you'll do? Open up that hue and saturation. Okay. So uh, what you'll do is you'll you'll take your master um, color adjustment there, and uh, you'll also desaturate it. And what that essentially does is it gives you a black and white image. And uh, then what you do to get the the uh, the roof color going through is you go onto your layer mask here and you click your eraser <clears throat> and you simply just erase that part of the mask bringing your color back into the roof just like that so if that's what you want, if you wanted to just have the roof um, or maybe you want these this some some of this area too um, you'd want to get a smaller eraser probably for that and go in and uh, just you know like color in this little area something like that anyway um, I just want the roof so I'm gonna delete that and then uh, I'm gonna move on to the next step <coughs> okay so um, the next thing that we do is create another uh, adjustment layer and do that the same way just by clicking this adjustment layer down here on your uh, layers palette and it's going to be a uh, black and white adjustment layer and uh, the first thing that I want to do is change my uh, color mode to overlay here and that'll uh, immediately allow your, your red roof to come through. And you want to set that right away so that you know um, what you're working with. And already you have a pretty interesting look here. And you can you could stop right there if you wanted to. But uh, but since we're doing sepia, um, we're going to add a, a tint to this picture to, to give it kind of that sepia look. And you have selective color in, our, in, our, in there as well. So uh, you certainly can change your, your filter or, or add you know custom settings if you want. The, the roof to be a little lighter or darker. Uh, you can slide that red around. Uh, right around there is pretty good. Let's try a let's try a red filter and see what happens. Um, I think I, I kind of like that filter. Other than I'm just going to make the red roof just a little darker. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll click this tent checkbox and it'll add a tent to your picture. Uh, I'm using CS5, um, so this is how it looks in there. Uh, if you want to make the tent a little darker, you can simply click on that uh, the color of the tent there and uh, just change the color of it a little bit. You can use any color tint you want. You could uh, add a green sepia if you wanted to. Uh, and that might look kind of nice, actually, in this image, so maybe I'll keep it. But uh, let me just show you. You could do yellow. <coughs> you could do orange. Um, <coughs> or, you know, something crazy like some light blue or something like that. But I, I kind of liked the green, so I'm going to go with the green, and uh, I'll just lighten it up a little bit so that it's a bit more subtle. Maybe something about like that. 
and I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Um, <clears throat> and that, and that's a that's pretty much what I'm doing or what what I wanted to do with this image. Um, so that's about the end of this tutorial. Certainly, you can go back to your hue and um, saturation adjustment, and if you want to, you can still you know go in and color in some certain areas. Like if you wanted the sky to come through, um, you can paint it back in with your eraser. So then it would look like this. Uh, and there's, there's all sorts of things you can do. You just kind of have to mess around with it and uh, see what you can come up with. But uh, but this is a good start. So um, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Please uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks again.